Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this uh, short video, another video in our series of videos dealing with the theory of interest and more importantly dealing with mortgages, sinking funds and annuities. It's going to concentrate on a sinking fund calculation. And this is our second example with respect to a sinking fund calculation. And what makes this different to the previous one is that this particular sinking fund uh, will have an initial investment associated with it. So the scenario is similar to the scenario of our previous example. So the scenario uh, is something like this. Okay, uh, you expect you expect okay that you will need okay that you will require okay okay uh, you will need to you will require to replace okay your IT your IT infrastructure infrastructure. Okay, structure. Okay, uh, in five years, in five years' time. Okay. Uh, you ex estimate, you estimate, okay, uh, that you will require, you will require four hundred thousand euros or four hundred thousand dollars, whatever, you, whatever particular uh, nomination, denomination you want to use. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, if if interest rates, if interest rates, okay, okay, uh, are expected, are expected to average, to average, let's say three point four seven percent, okay, okay, what should your annual investment investment be, okay? question mark okay and also okay also okay okay you are prepared prepared okay to invest to invest 120,000 euros 120,000 euros today okay so let's just have a look at uh, from a schedule perspective what this looks like okay so from a time perspective okay let's say time is running down here so time t zero meaning today one meaning one year has elapsed two two years has elapsed three four five years has elapsed okay so in five years time okay in five years time after five years has elapsed well here's one year two years three years four years after five years has elapsed you require 400,000 euros okay and the question that you are asking is what should each one of these particular investments be at the end of each year so that you can account for 400,000 or you can you ha you can cover this liability of 400,000 euros in 5 years time okay your investments okay, your investments well, you're prepared to invest 120,000 euros today. So today you're prepared to invest 120,000 euros, okay? And what you really need to know is what should this investment be here? What should you invest here? Here, here, here. And what should your final investment be, okay? To cover your liability, okay? To cover this liability, okay? In other words, the question is, at the end of year one, okay, when one year has elapsed, what should you be investing? At the end of year two, what should you be investing? At the end of year three, what should you be investing? And so on. At the end of year five, what should you invest to, need to invest? Along with your initial 100,000 euro, 120,000 euros investment to make sure that you can cover this particular 400,000 euros liability. Uh, the formula... Let's just show the formula again that we're going to use. We've we've developed this formula in a previous video. We've provided a derivation. It says that a n is equal to a zero times one plus i raised to the power of n. Okay, uh, plus f times one plus i raised to the power of n minus f all over all over i. Okay, where a n is the future is the future balance. Okay, okay, a zero is the initial the initial investment or the initial borrowings okay so the initial investment investment stroke borrowings okay in their case it's an investment okay and uh, we have f is the annual is the annual investment investment or borrowing 
okay depending on what particular scenario we're using okay uh, i is the interest rate so that's interest okay and we have n is the duration the years how many years is this particular investment over okay so let's see what we have okay, in this particular situation. Okay, so what we have is well, what are our variables or what are our parameters? Our parameters are a n, a zero, f, i, and n. Okay. So what do we know? Okay. Well, we know that in the future, okay, we need four hundred thousand euros. So the future balance of the account needs to be four hundred thousand euros. So in the future, we need four hundred thousand euros or four hundred thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, the initial investment is one hundred twenty thousand dollars. We're we're prepared to put in an initial investment into this account as we open it up. Okay. We're prepared to invest in one hundred twenty thousand one hundred twenty thousand euros. So one hundred twenty thousand euros is our initial investment. Uh, the question is, what should our annual, what should our annual investment be? Okay, well, we don't know what this is, so it's a question mark. The interest rate is three point four seven percent. Okay, so it's the interest rate is zero point zero three four seven, and the number of years, the duration. Okay, how far in the future? Okay, uh, is it? Okay, how far in the future will the liability occur? Well, it's five years in the future, so n is equal to n is equal to five. And once again, you can see that we have all the information with respect to our formula, except for f. So we're going to just solve for f. So our formula, again, is that a n is equal to a0 times 1 plus i raised to the power of n, okay, plus f times 1 plus i raised to the power of n minus f all over, all over i. So let's fill in our information. So what do we have? We have 400,000 euros, okay, so 400,000 euros is equal to a0, which is 120,000 euros, okay, uh, times 1 plus i, which is the interest rate, 